I have another meal review for you. This time it is the Happy Yak Bengali Rice. But it's Christmas, so I'm going to make it a special meal, a Nova Scotia Christmas meal. If you're interested in seeing how I do that, keep watching. Okay, so here, so here we have the meal from Happy Yak. This is the Bengali rice. And I'll describe the meal to you and the method of preparation and how I'm going to prepare it today. But I just wanted to address a couple of comments that have come up quite often in the videos that I already have on the Happy Yak meals. Uh, and yes, and full disclosure, these were sent to me by Happy Yak for testing and review. And I do appreciate it. And one of the reasons why I accepted this is I had tasted Happy Yak meals and I had declared them even before they were, this package was sent to me as the best tasting freeze-dried meals, I think, that are on the market today. Having said that, I know I haven't tasted all of them, but these are simply the best that I've tasted. And there is quite a variety available to me here that I have tested. But uh, a couple of the questions were about the cost. Um, these are made in Canada, in the province of Quebec. So if you're shipping them into the U.S., they're going to cost you more than if they were made and shipped somewhere from the U.S. There's no, di no uh, disagreement with that. They are a little bit more expensive that way. Even here in Canada, these run about a dollar more a package or a meal than do a comparable mountain house or backpacker's pantry. Uh, that's true. I don't disagree with that at all. The thing is, is it has to be what do you want from your meal? When I say that this is the best tasting meal, that's just not hype on my part. This really is the best tasting freeze dried food, the highest quality freeze dried food that I have encountered. Repeatedly, I'll say, and it just remains true, well, we'll see today after I taste this one, but every meal I've tasted, they are not salty. That's one of the criticisms I have about a lot of the Happy Yak, or not Happy Yak, the other brands out there, is that they seem to add an awful lot of salt. As well, the portions here, when they say they've added meat, either chicken, beef, or whatever, the, the portions not only are larger in size, but there seems to be more of it. So proportionately, there's more of the ingredients in this in a reasonable size. It looks more like a regular meal you might get from home or at a restaurant. So yes, you're paying a little bit more, even here in Canada, but you're getting a much better quality meal. So if you're willing to pay that extra for the good quality meal, then Happy Yak is something that you may want to consider. Okay, that's enough of a rant about, about Happy Yak and why it's more expensive. Let's just talk about this meal specifically. So the Bengali rice is one of the Happy Yak Express meals. It is a vegetarian option and a lactose-free option for anybody who's concerned. And all that information is always provided not only on the package, but also on the website if you want to get a little information before you actually purchase the meal. And of course, I will provide links to this meal to the Happy Yak site for anybody who's interested in learning more about it. So the method of preparation for this one is a very reasonable 350 milliliters of water. I say that because most meals take a full two cups or 500 mils. My experience has been that a few of these meals take a little bit more water, but some of them, most of them are right on the mark where they should be. So it's a very simple put together. All I'd have to do if I wanted to be really frugal with it is at, bring 350 milliliters of water to a full rolling boil, pour it into the package, stir it around well, seal the package up. It is a Mylar line package like most of them are. Set it aside for 15 to 18 minutes and I'm good to go. There is an optional method if you wanted to quicken it up a little bit where you can put it in the pot with your water and bring it to a boil, simmer it for one to two minutes and then set it aside five to seven minutes. But if you're trying to keep your pot clean, then you can do this right in the package. So how am I gonna do this? Well, this is what I do most often with my meal. This is my fair share mug from GSI. It is a plastic mug. It does have measurements on the inside which is great if I want to put the water in first and then add my meal to the water. It does have a neoprene sleeve around the outside so it provides some insulation but even so I have my uh, dollar store lunch bag which is a Reflectix type material which I'll pop this whole thing down inside just to keep it a little warmer. I may even throw uh, something else around it. I do have an extra jacket I could throw around it because we're running about minus six degrees Celsius here. Not excessively cold actually not cold at all for this time of year but enough that you can cool your meal down quite quickly so what I want to do is I'm going to open the package up I'm going to pour the contents into the GSI cup so that you can get a look at 
the zip lock on this thing is tough. There we go. Good strong zip lock so you're not going to have to worry. I, I know this sounds hard to believe, but every time I open one of these things up and I look inside, I go, this is actually a freeze-dried meal. Incredible. Okay, instead of talking about it, let's show it. I'll pour the meal into my container. Yep, got it all. Give it a shake around. Oh, a lot of curry. I'll talk a little bit about the ingredients that are in this as well. First off, let me show you what I can see inside. Making sure you can see what's in there. So, I do see a lot of curry spices. I do see a lot of chili spices. There is vegetarian protein, or I think it's referred to as soya protein. There is a lot of chickpeas, it looks like, regular peas. Well, let's just read the, instru the ingredients. All right. Sorry for the ca camera adjustments, folks. Ingredients include rice, of course, dehydrated soya protein chunks. There is oat flakes, interesting. Wheat flour, onion flakes, and spices. Pistachios, that's different. Beef broth. Uh, you know, the usual spices and extracts. Freeze-dried peas, shallots, red bell peppers, garlic. Okay. So that's the ingredients. There is, you know, I could have gone into detail about some of the other things that I can't pronounce very well, <laughs> but you can read them for yourself if you have more interest in that. So what I'm doing now is I'm just waiting for my water to come to a boil, and then we'll prepare this meal. And when it's fully rehydrated, I'll come back and show you not only this meal, but what I'm doing to make it a Nova Scotia Christmas meal. Okay, my water is boiling hard here. I'm also, while I film this video on the Happy Act meal, I'm also filming a video on the Brennerly hobo stove, as you can see burning in the background here. And just showing a new gift I bought myself, which is the Tom Shoe Titanium 1100 milliliter pot. And a Christmas gift from my daughter, a titanium spoon from Lixada. So I know I pre-measured the amount of water. So all I have to do now is add that in. Oh, the smell. See if I can bring that up a little bit so you can see what I'm doing here. Quite a curry smell to this, curry and rice and the spices, which of course would make sense since it is a Bengali rice meal. I'll put the lid on. Now quite often meals like this benefit from having a stir somewhere in the middle of another stir or a little shake around somewhere in the middle of its rehydration process. What I'll do now is I'll put this whole thing down inside my lunch bag and I'll set that aside in 15 to 18 minutes. I'll probably give it the full 18 minutes. I'll have a lunch to show you. All right, let's take a look at this Happy Yak meal and see how it turned out. Nice and warm in here. All right. Ooh. Oh yeah, fully rehydrated. Yeah, I don't see any water left over, so it's perfectly rehydrated. See if I can't give you a view of what I'm looking at here. So as you can see, it's a curry-based meal, or a rice-based meal with a lot of curry in it. And uh, the vegetable proteins, as I mentioned, peas, pistachios. Gee, that was new to me. I didn't expect that. And let's have a look. Mmm, hot. Mmm. Okay, right off the top, as I said before, not salty. Definitely a strong curry flavor, but not mouth-burning curry. The curry does have a little, a little bit of what I refer to as secondary heat. In other words, the longer it's in your mouth, the more the heat builds a little bit. The vegetable protein, let's see if I can get a 
few pieces to show you on the spoon there towards the, the middle of the spoon are a reasonable size. The texture is like beef or chicken, I guess. Fully rehydrated, as are the peas. Yeah. For my personal taste, I might actually add a little bit of spice to this. But for most people, this will be on the border of being spicy, but I wouldn't call it overly spicy. Just a nice curry meal without being a too strong a curry meal. Okay, let me put that aside because I did promise that this would be a Nova Scotia Christmas adaptation. Let me show you what I'm doing. Number one, just out of view of the camera, is I have my pour over making some coffee. And of course, it's the Rampage coffee. I brought, have started carrying it in a little tin now. All right, this will just take me half a second. So Nova Scotia, being a maritime province, has a strong, or always has had a very strong history of fishing as well as forestry. Yeah, that's enough to show you. And something that we do here in Maritimes, I'm not sure if it's done anywhere else in the world, is at Christmas time, we have lobster. Some people will forego the turkey altogether and have lobster instead. Um, in our family, we still have turkey at, at uh, Christmas dinner, but we usually have a separate meal of lobster. The reason why this time of year is this is when it's at, in its season and it's at its finest, certainly the Nova Scotia lobster. Now, I have viewers and friends who live in Maine who may disagree with me, but I'll put the statement out there. The Nova Scotia lobster is the finest in the world. Now, I know lobster is not for anybody, but, or for everybody, but... <laughs> it's cold. The only way this would have been better, I suppose, it had the lobster been warm or hot, and I had some hot melted butter that I could dip it in. But I'm not going to complain. Look at that. Nice big lobster tail. Oh, man, now this is living. Okay. I sit here with the camera on. You're just going to see me smile and talk about how much, how good this is, so I won't do that. What I will do is, though, I'll bring you back in a few minutes for a closing. Well, you know, it's been a probably a couple of months since I've had one of these Happy Yak meals, and uh, I do have quite a few of them that I have been trying out, as you are probably aware. Uh, I'm going to say this certainly ranks as one of my favorites for a couple of reasons. The taste, obviously, it had a, a great curry taste, if you like curry, of course. It had great consistency, great texture, very clearly identified vegetables and spices and everything in it. And, uh, you know, I, I'll be honest, I didn't finish the whole meal. It is, let's see how many calories, 320 calories for half of this package, so a 640 calorie meal. Um, I left some of it in my GSI Fair Share mug because uh, I can just reheat that later which is what I will do. Of course, I won't be wasting any of this. Part of the reason is, is I'm only out for a day hike. I didn't really expend that many calories. So a 640 would have been a, a good size meal, especially because I supplemented it with the lobster. Can't do better than that. Do you have to have lobster in order to have a great meal? Of course not, but it makes a great meal even better if you can add something like lobster to it. It occurred to me I probably could have it chopped the lobster up into small pieces and put it right in with the, this meal, have the lobster heated that way. But of course, I wanted to taste the meal without any changes to it whatsoever. And I wanted to show you what a piece of lobster tail looked like as well. Add on to that the Rampage coffee and oh my, I don't think it gets any better than this, folks. It's just, well, it's the 30th of December here in Nova Scotia. Uh, cold, minus six day. Not really cold, but it is very windy. You, I don't know if you can see that from the trees behind me, but uh, a meal like this with some lobster, that's a great way to just spend a day in the woods without question. Okay, so this is one more of the Happy Yak meals that I have tried and that I've been very pleased with. And as I mentioned, I'll put all the information in the show notes below where you can purchase this. 
And if you have any questions about this meal or any anything, well, maybe, maybe you want to ask about lobster, I don't know. But if you have any questions at all, please put them in the comments section below. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled. It'll make all the difference. Bye for now.